when we see the one whose hand you're now holding, it is the one who safely holds your heart. When we see the one whose eyes you now gaze into, it gives all your hopes and dreams their start. When we see the one you think of first and last, it is the one who holds you safe and tight. And the things you plan and do together make everything in this world seem just right. When the one whom you now believe in puts their faith and trust in you, you've definitely found the one precious love you'll share your whole life through. Someone once said the father of a daughter is nothing but a high-class hostage. He turns a stony face to his sons, but when his daughter puts her arm around his shoulder and says, Daddy, you know I love you very much, he is but a pat of butter in a hot frying pan. You captured my heart the day you were born, uh, and I became more and more in awe of you as the years have passed on. I look back and cherish all those special times we spent together, walking you to school every morning, reading Rapunzel to you night after night, after night, and so on. I think from an early, day, early age, you very quickly learnt who wears the trousers in a female and male partnership. Something you'll take with you into married life. Although, although Johnny, Johnny may disagree, but I'm afraid he's, you know, 30 years of experience, my friend, for 30 years of experience. Uh, I'm gonna give you a very brief history of kind of when Laura and I met. We first met actually before university, there was a, a kind of pre-welcome visit that they had to the university called Step Ahead. We'd had a few conversations on MySpace. Laura had a very nice MySpace page, well done, good music, nice background drippings, good job, good job. But my first kind of real memory of her was in the halls that we were staying in for that week. She was drunkenly trying to explain to someone where Lowestoft was and there was this pizza box on the table and she tried to draw the UK which didn't look anything like the UK. Our first year together saw us become friends, uh, we, sh we shared a few cheeky snogs at the LRV, that was our students union. Most, most Wednesdays and Fridays and Sundays and Mondays, generally when we were going out, um, I'd often text Laura saying LRV question mark or Hanley question mark and that would often dictate whether I bother getting out of bed at, at, at night and going out or not and trying to convince my mates to. So the first night that I stayed at Laura's and we just stayed up talking until the sun came up the next day. And I can remember kind of walking home, hungover and tired, but happy knowing that this was, this was kind of going to go somewhere. Now you see, the first time I met Laura was on a pub golf night out in Stoke when I was down to visit Johnny. And it was apparent from the very first minute that Johnny had found himself a keeper. Laura was funny, she was quirky, and she was very easy to get along with, until I disagreed with anything uh, that she said. Now, Laura's direct and sometimes brutal frankness is almost legendary, and she certainly put me in my place a few times over the years. That being said, it's all part of her charm, and underneath the hardened exterior is a genuinely warm and caring person who will be the first person there to do anything for you. Since becoming Johnny's friend, he has followed me everywhere it seems. First he followed me to Staff's Uni, then he followed me to Caterpillar, until we took the ultimate step in stalking and moved in next door to me. <laughs> Johnny has gone on to find a beautiful bride, and I'm glad he's brought you to be our neighbour as well, Laura. Laura and I, as Peel said, didn't She's quite blunt. <laughs> we didn't get off to the best of starts when I suggested I could sleep on their sofa after a night out. And she really laid into me, no, you can't sleep on our sofa, it's brand new. And I couldn't comprehend this. To add insult to injury, she told me, Tom, you'll understand when you have nice things. <laughs> the best part, though, is Laura's effect on Johnny. Now, she somehow managed to bring out the best in him, yet at the same time, deal with him when he's at his absolute worst. And Laura, I can honestly say from the four of us that it's an absolute pleasure to have you in our lives and I really can't imagine anybody else becoming Johnny's life partner. Laura and I kind of spoke about what marriage was before. We had this long conversation. I think marriage is all about companionship, so having someone you want to be there, the big things and the small, and the exciting trips, the crazy parties, right down to the little moments, just 
watching TV and, and snuggling in bed. You're my companion. I look forward to doing all the big and the small things together. Laura's got this vision of us being that old couple kind of walking down the road and annoying everyone else behind us because we're taking so long. And we're talking about it, and that was kind of her aim of marriage, so we're there, don't worry. <laughs> I proposed to Laura in the Forest of Dean at a place called Puzzlewood. Um, this place actually means quite a lot to me because when we first went there a few years before, we'd chosen possibly the worst weekend to go away and it was absolutely hammering it down. This wasn't like a small shower. It's the, the, the walk kind of starts on the top of a hill and you literally had to walk over a torrent of water that was kind of coming down. And it could have been the, the, the worst day ever, but we wrapped up warm, we splashed around in the mud and, and it was a really happy time. So instead of that being the worst day, it, it was the best. Um, and that's one of the reasons I, I proposed a year or two later, because when you're there, it's, it's just better. Things are better. I can't imagine life without you. Every day I'm reminded of how amazing you are and how you make all of my rainy days happy. Um, so I'd like to raise a toast to my beautiful wife, Laura. Laura. Laura.